Meet Barry Seal. At first, the media portrayed Seal as a drug dealer gone good, who was assassinated by the Colombian Mafia. Authorities believe last night's machine gun killing of top drug informant Barry Seal was ordered by drug bosses in Medellin, Colombia, who sent five men to Baton Rouge to kill Seal. Sam Dalton was the lawyer that represented the Colombian hitmen convicted of his assassination. We were trying to subpoena the CIA because we felt like they had documents, exhibits, and evidence that would indicate complicity in Seal's assassination. When they were able to gain access of Barry Seal's trunk the night of the murder, the personal phone number of none other than George H.W. Bush was present. Lewis Unglesby, the former attorney for Mr. Seal, also confirms that he once called the office of the vice president after Seal had given him the number. You see, the Black Ops drug smuggling operation had not yet been exposed, and intelligence couldn't take any chances. It was later revealed that Seal was involved in smuggling cocaine into Mena, Arkansas, while Bill Clinton sat as governor. 1983, Ronald Reagan was president, Bill Clinton was governor, and little Mena, Arkansas changed from a quiet town to a center for drug smuggling and reported Contra support activity. In the middle of it all, this man, admitted dope smuggler Barry Seal. Arkansas State Trooper Russell Welch investigated Seal's organization. Each trip would have uh, 250 to 350 pounds of cocaine. According to the London Telegraph, Arkansas State Trooper Larry Patterson testified under oath that he and his officers discussed repeatedly in Clinton's presence the large quantities of drugs being flown into Mena Airport, large quantities of money, large quantities of guns. Hot Springs police officers would also record Roger Clinton, Bill's brother, during a cocaine transaction stating, Gotta get some for my brother. He's got a nose like a vacuum cleaner. There was also a large amount of money laundering going on in Mina. 